On June 11th, we will gather to commemorate Davis Day. For the first time in two years, we will remember the miners who were killed on the job together. Those like William Davis, who were killed fighting for living wages, the right to unionize, safe working conditions. However, over the past two years, we did continue to commemorate Davis Day. Many of us gathered in small numbers at various memorials, including in Davis Square and William Davis's resting place. I am recording this video from the site where the miners and the community members marched on that fateful day in June 1925, and where many were injured and where William Davis was killed. In the early 1920s, the management of the British Empire Steel Corporation, BESCO, was dedicated to busting unions. This led to the United Mine Workers of America, the UMWA, beginning a series of small strikes. In March 1925, BESCO cut credit to the company stores, resulting in the strike of 12,000 miners and forcing many families to the brink of starvation. The company cut off the water and power to the town, and the company police became violent towards the residents. On June 11, 1925, miners and community members marched from the town of New Waterford to here at New Waterford Lake to return water and power back to the town and protest their treatment by Besco. The company police fired 300 shots at the protesting workers, including William Davis, who was shot in the heart. The miners of 1925 and their families stood the gaff. And to honor them, we must be willing to stand with workers to ensure they have living wages, safe working places, and are able to organize. In the wake of COVID-19, we must ensure all workers are provided paid sick leave and safer working conditions. As the NSNDP labor spokesperson and a resident of this mining town, I stand with the communities of Cape Breton, Pictou County, Spring Hill, and everywhere miners have died. Let their sacrifice compel us to action. Solidarity forever, my friends. Solidarity forever.